Hi there, this is Sean Broderick for Uncommon Wisdom Daily. I'm in New York at the Oil Council's America's Assembly Conference, and it's a bullish crowd because many analysts expect oil prices are about to start heading higher. We have a small surplus in oil production this year, and yet oil prices are still over 80 bucks a barrel. Look at this chart and you'll see what I mean. You can see crude oil is in a range over $70, between 70 and 85, which is quite impressive considering that the economy still isn't firing on all cylinders. And there are forces falling into place to drive oil prices higher. First, next year, the IAA expects global oil demand to increase 1.3 million barrels a day. That's more than enough to eat up the surplus we had this year. Two, we have a weakening dollar. It seems like the dollar has found its legs recently, but the big trend is still down. In fact, JP Morgan says that it expects the US dollar to weaken by four to five percent over the next six months. Since oil is priced in dollars, as the US dollar goes down, that should push oil prices higher. And then there's China, force number three. China's oil consumption has doubled in the last decade, soaring to 8 million barrels per day last year from 4.2 million barrels per day in 1998. China's oil imports increased 48% last year alone to 3.6 million barrels per day. In fact, China's economic growth recently slowed down to 9.6% year over year. Any developed nation would kill for that growth. Meanwhile, automobile sales in China are just off the charts rising more than 19% in September, and those auto sales are shifting into higher gear. Steps taken by the government earlier this year to slow down China's economy haven't really had an impact on oil and fuel demand. The country's crude oil imports climbed to a new record in September, passing the previous high set in June. Put it all together, and we should see higher prices next year. You can play this trend with an exchange-traded fund like the United States Oil Fund, symbol USO, or fund the tracks a basket of energy stocks like the Energy Select Spider, symbol XLE. My Crisis Profit Hunter subscribers have a boatload of positions that should do very well as crude oil goes higher, and they're high-yield dividend payers, which means that my subscribers get paid to wait for crude oil to blast off. This is Sean Broderick for Uncommon Wisdom Daily. Thanks for watching.